So hi everyone, uh, my name is Jim Cole and I'm an educator here at Lowell Observatory. I'm also fortunately the guy that's in charge of all the new telescopes for the new Giovanni Open Deck Observatory and a lot of this stuff is starting to come in, which is pretty cool. So we thought we would do an unboxing video and in this particular box uh, we have a whole bunch of uh, items from Explore Scientific and uh, they make everything from telescopes to eyepieces. Uh, and what we've got ordered uh, for the Godo from them right now is a whole box of really nice eyepieces. So we're going to uh, dive into this box and uh, let you see some of the pretty cool stuff we've got. All right. We have, i put this away before I hurt myself. Okay. This is pretty cool. Okay, before we even worry about this stuff, this look at this stuff. Look at the boxes. I'm Explore Scientific. This is really cool. Got star charts on them. Isn't that very cool? And I'm holding that upside down. If we do it that way, you can probably see it a little bit better. Uh, but these are actually uh, portions of real star charts. That's pretty darn cool. So it tells us what stars are up in the sky. All right, so anyway, what we've got in here, it looks like uh, there is a 30 millimeter eyepiece, a 30 millimeter eyepiece, and what the heck is this, a 24? Actually, what I'm really excited to find first is, I'm going to take all this stuff out. I'll check all this stuff in later when you guys aren't uh, watching this here. But what I'm looking for particularly, I know we ordered some stuff which I've never seen before. And this would be one of them. This is a three inch uh, star diagonal uh, for two of our refracting telescopes that are going to use these. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. Let me make sure I get the second one. Uh, that's the second one. And then we have a big three inch eyepieces. Most amateurs don't use these big eyepieces because they're so heavy. So this is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I am going to let's get rid of this. This is one of the diagonals, and a diagonal goes on the back of a refracting telescope that uses lenses, and it bends the light path so that you don't have to look through a tube this way. You can look down into an eyepiece. And oh my gosh, this is a monster. <laughs> okay, this is cool stuff. All right, so. This end goes in to the back of the telescope, which unfortunately I don't have in here to show you right now. And then the eyepieces mount in here and inside here. Bear with me. Is a mirror. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Uh, but that's the light comes from the telescope, hits the mirror, and comes out the eyepiece that way. Now, what's cool about these things is that I can use one of these big monster eyepieces in it, or we can use more standard uh, two inch eyepieces. And we've also got an adapter for a one and a quarter inch eyepiece. But let's set this down. And what I want to do here is find one of the normal size eyepieces. So let me open this up here. Some of these have plastic on them, some of them don't. So before I bring out the big gun, I want to show you what a more standard eyepiece uh, for most people is. And this one opens a little bit different. Okay. This is a 17 millimeter eyepiece. That's the focal length of the eyepiece. It's kind of a medium power. 
nothing really high. Oh, look at that. Comes in a pretty little black bag. <laughs> All right. So this. It's large for a two inch eyepiece, but a lot of amateurs use these. It's got a very wide field of view, uh, but you can get an idea here. This is the end that your eye looks in up here, right there, and then the end that goes in the diagonal. So right now we had this thing rigged up to accept the two inch eyepiece. So that would go right in here. We would lock it down. Just like that. And then again, this would be attached to the telescope and we would be looking uh, in this end here. So this is a normal two inch eyepiece. I'm gonna take this out. By the way, this is the Explore Scientific uh, 92 degree series. That means it's got a really wide field of view and it's a 17 millimeter uh, argon purged and it's waterproof like a pair of binoculars for anti-dewing, which is very cool. All right, let me open one of these big eyepieces and show you the difference uh, between a two and a three inch eyepiece. All right, so let's bring this down here. Okay, first time I've seen one of these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this one out here because I wanna show you the difference between. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> you can see why most uh, amateurs don't put this on uh, their telescope. All right, so here, this is a two inch diameter uh, mount for an eyepiece, and this is a three inch. It's made by the same company so this is a 30 millimeter. This is a 92 degree series. This is a 100 degree series. And that just means the 100 degree as opposed to the 92 is a little more field of sky. You can see a little more stars uh, than you can with the 92 when you're looking at a particular object. Other than that, the eyepieces are pretty much designed the same way. But this thing, I think it feels like it weighs about seven pounds. I'm not quite sure. But if we're going to put this in here, we have to take out the little adapter that holds two inch eyepieces. Take the cover off. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted at the size of this thing, so hang on a second, guys. Oops. Not quite enough slack in here. Okay, so uh, this is the three inch star diagonal with a three inch Explore Scientific uh, eyepiece in it. And uh, it's gonna go, uh, this particular setup exactly as you're looking at it is gonna be mounted as our standard uh, setup on our TEC 140 fluorite uh, telescope that's on its way this month. And that's going to be our refractor that we use for wide field views of the sky to see really uh, amazing uh, shots of uh, star clusters and big nebula and things like that. So this will be the setup that will be standard on that Tech 140.